All right. Algebra students, okay. Last independent factors here. Okay, so we're almost done with this today's lesson. Okay. Now, it's a word problem. I'm lots of you rolling your eyes. We're going to take the cubes method first, which is circle the numbers. I'm writing this in pencil, so if I mess up, you guys can still read this. 25 plants, 8 plants, 9 plants to meet their goal. Okay, so a club has a set of goals to sell at least 25 plants. Okay? For a fundraiser. Club members sell 8 plants on Wednesday and 9 plants on Thursday. What are the possible number of plants the club can sell on Friday to meet their goal? Okay, so let's imagine this. Okay, so we want to sell 25 plants, at least 25 plants. If we sell more than 25 plants, that's good. We'll have extra money. Maybe we have a pizza party afterwards. If we sell less, we're not going to meet our goal. I don't know what, if for a fundraiser, maybe they wanted to earn a certain amount of money to go on a trip. So if we earn 20, if we only sold 20 plants, we're in trouble because that'll mean that we can't go on the trip. We won't have enough for the bus and the hotel room or whatever. I don't know how this is working, but we'll imagine it in our heads. Underline important words. I see some really good math words. At least. Okay. And, in this case, is a pretty good one. Okay. Meet their goal. Okay. I don't know if that's okay. Ah. I did this wrong. Underline the question. I'm rusty. Oh, okay. So the question, what are the possible number of plants can sell on Friday? Okay. So box important words. We did uh, important words. Rusty, rusty, rusty. So wherever I see this, I'm going to change these to boxes. Not too many. Uh, e is eliminate extra information. You know, I'm looking at this, and do we have to know that they're selling it for a fundraiser? Not really. Right? They said they want to sell pot plants, 25 plants. Does it matter what they're selling it for? Pizza party, we've even said this before. Is it going to be a trip, a pizza party? I don't know. Extra info. And then finally, S is solve. Okay, so I think we can do this. Okay, so our goal, our answer is 25. So now I'm going to put this in there and say 25. Now, this number 25, actually I'm going to put it over here, sorry. is what we want to group. Uh, this side, what we're going to do all the work, it can be greater than 25. That'd be good, then we have extra money. Or it could be equal to. Equal to means that's at least we have to sell 25. If we don't sell 25, we haven't met our goal. So when they say at least, that means the least amount you can sell. So this number here has to be bigger than, greater than, more importantly, or equal to 25. If I sell 30 plants, that's great. It's extra money. We can do something with that. But if I sell less, that's a problem. If I sell just enough, we did what we had to do, and we're happy. Okay, so now on this side. Now, I have, well, I'm thinking in my head, they're talking about days here. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So I picture in my mind this. A calendar. Okay, so we have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and finally at the end, Saturday, right? So each day. So I don't know why they didn't sell stuff on these days, but they didn't sell anything on those days. And they didn't say, they're not saying they're selling anything on Saturday. The weekends make sense to me. Okay, so we can say, okay, well, they wouldn't sell. But let's think of the regular school week. For whatever reason, they didn't sell on Monday and Tuesday. But they did sell on Wednesday, 8. And on Thursday, 9. So for whatever reason, they have to make their goal by the end of the day. So there's 
the total of these three is going to be 8 plus 9 plus whatever this is. I'm going to call this, since I don't know it, whenever I don't know it, I go to my favorite letter, X. So this plus this plus this must equal 25, or be greater than. So let's write this out again. So I'm going to say X. Well, let's do it this way. We'll write it the way it's up there in our calendar. 8 plus 9 plus whatever we sell on Friday, and we don't know that yet, of the X. So there's our equation to solve. Well, the first thing I want to do is combine like terms. We always try to do that. 8 plus 9, 17 plus X. So these are the ones we've already solved. Okay, now it's got this number is eventually got to be greater than or equal to 25 for us to be happy. Well, I got to isolate the variable. Still same idea. I got to get rid of that 17. That's a positive 17. So I'm use a negative 17 here and a negative 17 here. Again, both sides of that inequality. We keep that up. This is nice. This becomes zero. We can bring down the inequality. 25 minus 17. You know your math. If you use the calculator, if you don't want to, do this in your head. 8. So our big number, x, is greater than or equal to 8. So what we're doing on this day is we're saying, on Friday, we have to sell more 8 or more. This number of plants we sell on that day has to be greater than 8 or equal to 8. If we sell just 8, we're happy, we're fine, we walk away, we can go on our trip or whatever. If we sell you less than 8, we're in trouble, we're upset, you know, maybe we owe money, not good. So, again, I just wrote my little thing here. And I just follow these rules. I'm going to make orange my thing. So, oh no, I'm going to make it green. Because that's what X, the arrow actually represents X. So that's why I say you can't graph it unless X is by itself. So, X can be 8. So I can equal 8. So I'm going to circle it in. And it has to be greater than. And greater than we know goes to the right. There you go, people. All right, have a good weekend. I'll talk to you soon.